Dear students, our next topic is irrational number. Okay, our previous session we are already learned about what is rational number and there are some exercise questions. So, irrational numbers means a number which cannot be expressed in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0. Okay, before that what is rational number? Rational number means a number which can be expressed in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0. Irrational numbers means just opposite of rational number because a number we cannot express in the form of p by q. For example, root 2, root 3, pi and this one 0 0.0101011111 like that these kind of numbers are called irrational number okay then what about root to 4 is it rational or irrational what is the value of root to 4 root to 4 means that is 2 2 is a natural number and also we can write 2 as 2 divided by 1 so this is in the form of p by q here at the place of p 2 and at the place of q 1 which means this is a root 4 is a rational number. So root 2 root 3 by these numbers we cannot express in the form of p by q. So these are some examples and next is real numbers that is very important one. This is just definition the real numbers include natural numbers or counting numbers both are same. All numbers, integers, rational numbers and irrational number which means real numbers are the collection of all numbers. All numbers means there is natural numbers are there, all numbers are there, integers are there, rational numbers are there, irrational numbers are there. The set of all these type of numbers are real numbers. This one natural number means that is 1, 2, 3, 4 etc. Whole numbers means that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 etc. Integers mean it starts from minus infinity and it ends plus infinity. Rational numbers means the number which can be expressed in the form of p by q which means all fractions and decimals are rational numbers. Irrational numbers means which cannot be expressed in the form of p by q. So the set of all these type of numbers are our real numbers. So, our next question is locate root 2 on the number line. Actually, root 2 is an irrational number. Suppose instead of root 2, suppose 2, 3, minus 5, 0, all these numbers that is very easy to locate on the number line. Here, for example, root 2, root 3, root 5, all these numbers root 2, root 3, root 5, root 6, root 7, root 8, root 9 means that is 3. Okay. And root 10 like this. This is not irrational number. And here all others are irrational number. So, how to locate these kind of numbers on number line? That is our question. So, here so in the case of root 2 root 3 all these kind of irrational number we are constructing a right angled triangle by using Pythagoras theorem what is Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus height square. This is our Pythagoras theorem. Using this equation, we are constructing a right angled triangle with our hypotenuse as root 2. Or suppose our question is locate root 3 on the number line, then definitely our hypotenuse value must be root 3. Okay. So, here from this equation, we can write hypotenuse is equal to square root of base square plus height square. So, what is our first question? 
locate root 2 on the number line. So, this value root 2 must be our hypotenuse value. So, like that here always we are taking base value as 1 unit. Okay. So, here 1 square plus our answer should be 7. Here we can check how to draw root 2 on the number line. So, our question is how draw this point root 2 on the number line. So, here in this kind of question root 2, root 3, root 5, root 6 in this kind of question we are constructing a right angled triangle by using Pythagoras theorem. Okay. There is one more speciality in that equation we are taking always hypotenuse as our question which means here our question locate root 2 on the number line. So, in this question we are taking hypotenuse is equal to root 2 and what is our Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse is equal to or hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus height square. This is our Pythagoras theorem. In this Pythagoras theorem, we are taking our question as always our hypotenuse and always our base is 1 unit. Okay. Now, what is our question? We have to find what is the height. So, we are substituting these values in this Pythagoras theorem. That is hypotenuse is here root 2 root 2 square is equal to what is our base? Base is always 1 unit. 1 square plus height square. Here this square and root are cancelled. So, the value is 2 is equal to what is the value of 1 square? 1. 1 plus plus height square that is height square is equal to 2 this plus 1 transposes here as minus 1 2 minus 1 is equal to height square that is 1 is equal to height square so here our value height is equal to 1 and base is also 1 and our hypotenuse then root 2 so, using this value we are constructing a right angled triangle on the number line. For drawing root 2 on the number line we need 3 instruments. First one scale, protractor and compass. Our first step draw a straight line using scale. So, this is a straight line and take 1 unit is equal to 5 centimeter and put a mark also. So, here 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and 30. So, now this is our straight line and put this is 0, 1, 2, 3 here this is minus 1 like this. So, here 1 unit is equal to 5 centimeter. Our second step find a 90 degree straight line on the point 1 using protractor. So, on the point 1 draw a 90 degree line. So, here So, here we can draw a line straight line on the point 1 this angle must be 90 degree and again using this scale. So, our third step here our 1 unit is equal to 5 centimeter. So, here this is our 90 degree 
straight line here put a mark of 1 unit our 1 unit is equal to 5 centimeter and now this is our 1 unit and this is also our 1 unit ok here this 1 unit is our base and this 1 unit is our height what is our Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse is equal to base square plus height square so again our next is step is using scale join this point and uh, this point. So, our next step join these two points using a scale. So, here we can draw a line like this. Now, this is a right angled triangle. We are constructing this triangle by using Pythagoras theorem. So, this value is root 2. Our last step using compass take this length from 0 to this point here you put value A this one B and C. So, using scale not using scale using compass find this distance OC and make an arc which touches the baseline. Last step using compass find AC distance and make an arc which touches the number line. So, here we can draw like this and now this point is our root 2. So, this is our root 2. Then from this picture also we can draw root 3 also. Here we are taking root 2 as our base. Here our base is equal to root 2 and height is equal to 1. Then check what is hypotenuse using Pythagoras theorem. Pi hypotenuse is equal to hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus height square that is base square plus height square or we can say hypotenuse is equal to square root of base square plus height square. So, what is our base here? Here we are considering this AC distance as base. So, here root 2 square plus 1 square that is here this square and the root is cancelled remaining 2 plus 1 square is 1 that is the value is root 3. So, here we are taking this is root 2 as base and height as 1. So, again at the point of C here using protractor make a 90 degree line. Here root 2 is our base and at the point of C draw a 90 degree line. So, here we can draw a line like this. So, this is a 90 degree straight line and at this point C using scale put a mark 1 unit. Here our 1 unit is equal to 5 centimeter. Here make a mark of 1 unit. Our 1 unit is equal to 5 centimeter. So, here we make a mark ok and join this point and A. So, here this is our point D and using scale join D and A. That value is always root 3. So, using scale join A and D. So, here we can draw a line like this. This value is root 3. Again, we are taking our compass and take the distance OD and make an arc which touches the number line.
take this distance AD and draw a arc which touches the number line. This point is our root 3.